like the midterm years and the 60 year cycle things like that. i don't know if you've yeah. got if you don't mind us just spending two minutes there let's go i'll just i'll just show you some quick charts here so at the moment here this is a midterm year that we're in so we talked about basically sort of being you know every four year sort of cycle also the 10 year cycle like a lot of deep lows come in this sort of the, the, the end of the sort of second year usually around that sort of um either that june july or the or the october they're the sort of two key windows for a, for a, for a low for equity markets in what we call a midterm year and also these um the second year of the decade and that's usually when often where bear markets find lows so you can see here that this is six, this is 82 you can see there basically sort of we had a may high and then we had an august low and then pull back into october and then accelerate but look look how one thing you notice about these years look how aggressive they come out of the lows okay so that's sort of 82. it's explosive it's huge that's that's explosive to that very much so so if we look at um i'm just trying to find um we got there we got this is o2 so this is sort of like you know again we sort of found that similar to us actually found a july low bounced into august and we come off really aggressive there and then early october low and then explosive move out of that low this is a bit of a deep retest but again explosive move again um if we look at um 92 again we sort of got similar timings there so may highs a bit of an you know i think july august september mini high and then october low and then kind of explosive moves sort of out of these the one that everyone's sort of talking about is actually the 60-year cycle, which is, again, so sort of like 2002, it's been really, really similar. So again, came back into a July low, rallied up into August, and then come off here. And then, you know, this has this come all the way back into October, but then look how explosive they come out of the lows here. So this is the thing about these midterm years. Also, the, the second year of the decade, late, late second year, um, early third year that's when all the big lows typically sort of come in markets here so um just thought i'd just share this with you just i just think we're pretty close here so 60 year cycle scarcely might drag on a bit more the only thing is here this this is a higher low so i think i sort of said to you in the last couple of weeks there i find that the the new the markets that go to new lows in these sort of second year or these midterm years they do it faster so they don't this goes up sort of, I mean, this is two months there. So 60 days up and then this was 60 days back back down again. So like equal in, equal in time. That's how the high low is set up. When it goes to a new low, it does it a lot faster and usually comes in early October. That's the sort of normal sort of setup here. So we've gone to a new low, but 60 year cycle has sort of, this has been a pretty good rhythm for us. And again, very similar to March high, um, just a, a lot of similarities of 60 year cycle and, and the O2 cycle as well. So, so just on that 60 year cycle, we've had the early October low for retesting, depending on which indices you're looking at. And then we're rallying quite possibly to mid October, just like that chart you've got there, 16th yep. to the 10th. And then that market, that 60 year cycle ended up finding the low 24th of October and then went for that, that decent rally. So it's possible that we, we rally for the next week, then have a severe pullback again, and then quickly turn the corner and go on an absolute tear. Well, I don't know if we're going to, because I mean, the thing about this is like normally, like sometimes they can, these can be in the first few days of October. Quite a few lows have sort of come in around the third, fourth, fifth, sixth of October. Um, occasionally they run out to the 10th or, or the 20th or around the sort of 20th there. But, I find the the ones that run out to the longer ones um, higher lows, well, higher lows, and and it's just not not aggressive selling. The ones that sort of like two thousand have come off hard here. They come in faster. They don't they don't go to sixty days. They basically yeah. So we're we're right in that window here now of potentially a low here, and the way that our market has bounced out of that low off off the low is pretty aggressive and. You notice that the Dow went to a new low, S and P went to a new low, Nasdaq did not go to a new low, XJO did not go to a new low. So you were saying that the techs were looking relatively stronger coming yes. into it. Yeah, so, so some of the technology stocks are looking pretty, you know, look, looking pretty positive there. So 
what I'm saying is that here, this this sort of these sort of years, we we tend to explode out of the lows here. So um, yeah, so it might be further to go. Maybe we'll follow this sort of pattern here. Um, but I don't think uh, I I. I think the, I think the low might already be in here, Chris. So the, the key here now is to sort of see what sort of volume comes in on the down day. So we've got a down day today. Volume was a bit lighter in some of those markets. So um, just got to watch, you know, see what happens here. But I think I know IBD Live will be looking for what they call a follow through day, looking for a big up day on big volume. Um, and if they get that, that's that's what they, you know, they, they that's usually quite a bullish sign there. So if we see a follow through day. Um, How then, many follow through uh, days was O'Neill normally looking for? So, if, what do you say? Follow through day occurs during a market correction when a major index closes significantly higher than the previous day and in greater volume. Happens day four or later of an attempted rally higher than the previous day and in greater volume. Um, okay. So, yeah. So, I think this, I think it's, it's usually, what do I say, index closing sufficiently above 1% on increased volume. Is um is what we're looking for there. So it, it's usually day three to day day four to day seven is um, the most powerful follow three days happen. So it's just interesting here to sort of keep an eye on this. Um, that's normally a sort of good. You know, doesn't 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 work without its faults, but that every major load does does show a follow through day. That's that's the, that's the interesting thing. So if we do see one there, we um yeah, but um. So just yeah, just just going to be on alert for that. I just say with, I think we could be the low might be in, but we just need to see a bit more proof of that. Um, if it's not in now, I think we're really close. Um, I, I've actually been you know, starting to get a bit active here, and um, yeah, I'll, I'll be looking to sort of add some of the sort of stronger stocks here. So um, yeah, but interesting times. Hopefully, we'll, we'll we'll start to see some more really good setups here. <laughs>